Hello, welcome. Thank you for joining me again. See, what I'd like to show you in this film is how to put uh, some different door-like elements into a wall. Let's say there's some elements, uh, some things that you want to put into a, a room. It's kind of like a door. You want an opening from one room to another where it's mostly a wall, but you know, sometimes it's convenient when you're going from one large room to another, like a dining room to a living room. It's nice to have an opening in there into the wall rather than having to go through a door every time to get from room to room. And this provides you that option. So these options are, these items are kind of like doors, but they're not. And the way to insert them is you have to go to the component, uh, the component button on the home tab on the ribbon. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and load our family. And this family is under the door folders. And if you scroll down to openings, we have two openings that are available in the Revit in the in the Revit uh, program. There's opening case and opening elliptical. And of course, it gives you a preview over here. Opening elliptical is just an opening with a, an arch top to it. And opening opening cased is uh, kind of like a doorway without a door. It comes with the trim on the outside of the door and the molding on the uh, inside of the door, but it doesn't have the door itself. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and open that. And let's put an opening cased in here. So I'm going to put, what the desire is to put a five foot opening here, but I don't think they have that. I think they have a three foot opening here at the most. So let's go ahead and check that. So we have our opening cased. And uh, it goes as far as uh, 36 inches by 84. 84 is a good height, but we want it uh, wider than 36. So let's do this. So escape a couple times. Let's go and click on that door specifically. Go to Edit Type. Let's duplicate it. Let's make it 60 inches instead of uh, 36. And go to OK. And now that we've renamed it, let's go ahead and change some of the parameters. And that's going to be its width. We're going to make that 5 feet. Enter. And then OK. And you'll notice it got, it got bigger. Let's do a couple of uh, things here. Let's make this a permanent dimension. And let me show you one thing about dimensions and moving things around in Revit that you might find uh, uh, beneficial. Let's take our entryway room and delete that. Just to get out of the way so we can put our dimension in there. We're going to bring that back here in a bit. And what we want to do, what we're trying to do with that is try to find that X. When it's blue, we can delete that. And you'll notice that you'll get an error when you do that or a warning. It says that the room is deleted from the model, but it's still available in a project. And what that means, as we talked about before, is that room number and name is still in the database. And we can access that again. So let's do this. We don't want to select that room, but let's take this dimension and move that up a little bit. And what we want is the center of the door maybe 5 feet instead of 4 feet, 6 inches. And we can do the same thing to our dimensions that we've done before and just move these around by picking up the midpoint of that uh, door. And then taking that door or that doorway opening and then moving it. If you use the arrow keys on your keyboard, it's going to move it by the increments that uh, you have in the resolution. So right now it's moving at two inch increments. If I were to get closer now, it'll probably go to one inch increments. Oh, quarter inch increments. So it's a little bit too close. So there's one inch increments. This kind of demonstrates uh, the resolution that uh, Revit offers when you're moving things around. The closer you get, the better resolution you get. The smaller the, the, the measuring units are divided by as you get closer. So let's make that an even five, uh, five feet. Oop. There it is. And that's the way to do it. Okay, let's put that room back, by the way. Now that we have that dimension in there, we're going to take that dimension and move it off to the side. That's how you put that room back. So go to the Home tab, go to the Room button, and you notice in the Options bar now, we didn't go through these before, but these are all these options are available in your properties too. But instead of a new room, we're going to go ahead and pick a room that's already there. Remember our Room 1 and Room 6 that we didn't name, but our Entry Room is there. We're going to click on that and put that right back in its place. Okay, that's all I really wanted to show you in this film. Please join me for other ones.